everybody. Pastor Hollywood, good to see you today. Hey, this is the day before the royal wedding. <laughs> and I can't wait. I got to set my clock to 4 a.m. Man, that's early. Woo Man, my hair don't even wake up that early. How, what am I going to do? Hey, I got to get ready. I can't wait. I'm excited about it. Hey, Kate, if you're getting cold feet, you can always call Pastor Hollywood. I'll take care of you, girl. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know I'm teasing. I got the most wonderful wife in all the world, man. She rocks my world, and that's what a good woman will do for you. She'll take care of you. She's your helpmate. You know, take care of your woman. Take care of your wife, you know. Hey, God put her in your life so that she can help you and minister to you and encourage you. And remember, she was taken from your rib, not your ankle bone. So she ain't beneath you. She's right there beside you. Hi. And most of you women smarter than us guys anyway. <laughs> hey, man, think how smart she is. She married you. <laughs> Woo! Hey, anyway, I'm excited about the royal wedding. I was reading in Proverbs, the 28th chapter today, uh, that God says that when the righteous are in rule, that the people rejoice, and that the king's eyes can scatter evil. You know, I think that's like that in our nation so many times. It says that when the princes, uh, when there's many princes in a country, man, evil abounds. But with a man of understanding, he can direct the country. You know, our country like that right now. We got so many people in control, man. It's such gridlock. You know, there's Republicans, Democrats, in the Man, there's all kind of crazies out there, man. You know who can straighten this out, Pastor Hollywood. You know, vote for me. <laughs> no, you better not vote for me. My hair ain't pretty like Donald Trump's. <laughs> hey, but I'm prettier than Sarah Palin. <laughs> Look how smooth that face is. And I got bigger guns. <laughs> anyway, I don't know what I'm talking about. I get crazy sometimes, man. This tornado's come through, got my head all spinning. But anyway, I'm excited about what God's doing around the world. I'm excited about the royal wedding. I think about uh, Prince William and how he represents the monarchy. Now, a lot of people get less about a monarchy and, and the old school centuries ago when it was just one man that was controlling everything and, and uh, he was, uh, it says the king can search out evil and he can destroy it in his mind, in his eyes just by looking out across the, the congregation. And, you know, it's like that when we put the Lord first in our life. When we make him king of everything, when we repent as a nation and we turn from our sin, you know, the word of God says if we confess it, you know, get that sin out of your life, man. God can do something in your life. But repent means to return back to the top. And uh, like penthouse. And, uh, you know, that's what we need to be at. We need to be at the top. God designed you to be at the top, man, not at the bottom. We're not paupers, man. I tell you what, God has called us friends. Jesus said, no longer do I call you servants, but I call you friends. And I like that. He's my friend that's still closer than a brother. <laughs> anyway, when your life is right, man, and you can't confess all that sin and get it out of your life, man, things are good in your life, man. You ain't got to worry about lying, stealing, cheating, you know, always conniving and doing things. Just do the right thing and God will bless your life. Hey, and I believe Prince William going to do the right thing by Kate. Pray for marriages around the world that God will touch people's lives, that people will become families again, that people will stand up for one another, that people will put God back in their lives, that God will put uh, that people put God back in their nation, man, and put him first. And when we do that, man, it's going to be good, man. Hey, why wouldn't you want to serve God, man? He, he gives you love. He gives you joy. He gives your peace, man, and I mean, who don't want that, man? That means more than money, so hey, I'm excited about the royal wedding. I'm excited about our nation coming back to the Lord, man. I believe that. I'm not a one that's a, a pessimist. You know, I believe in being very optimistic, and I believe that we can speak faith and God can change people's lives, so hey, this is Pastor Hollywood saying, hey, I'm a pastor in the world, living for the world, and sometimes I'm like the world, but you know you love me, and I love you. Have a great day, and read the Word of God to change your life.